now let us discuss this question and here is uh, some information given that describe the two direction for the following two question two items and the direction what the direction is given that uh, the following table gives the gdp growth of tally and uh, rate growth rate and tally density data of the different states of the country in the particular year study the table and the answer the following this is complete the answer the following two items that follows so here state uh, different states are given per capita income is also given and gdp growth rate is also given tally density that is telephone density per thousand is given here also so gdp and tally density is given now on the basis of this you have to write some answer and what is the answer so let us discuss this the question is the first question is uh, with the reference of the above table which of both the following is a most logical and rational inference and that can be made higher per capita income is generally associated with higher tally density is it correct higher per capita income is the high tally density per capita income is here uh, this is 545 but tally density is just 5.94 this is not true here although the high tally density is there but per capita income is very less so first one is incorrect we can say first one is incorrect higher gdp growth rate always ensure higher per capita income higher gdp growth higher gdp growth uh, ensure that always higher per capita income higher per capita income and higher gdp growth here higher gdp growth is there but higher per capita income is not uh, higher so that is not associated you know so the here is wrong so this one is also wrong <coughs> now the third one higher gdp growth rate does not necessarily ensure higher tally density yes this is correct which what we have discussed so answer of this question is three answer of this question is three got it